What's going on guys, out here on the lake. I wanna take a quick moment to share with you guys a, a quick tip, man, that's very, very important to keep our resources alive and thriving, and that's how to fish a fish. Um, it's winter time, as you can see, I'm bundled up, it's cold. We're catching a lot of fish, 30, 40, 50, and on my home lake, on Lake Martin, I catch them sometimes 60 plus foot. They come up, that air bladder fills up, they can't release it because we reel them in so fast, and they'll die if you don't properly fizz them. So, Without further ado, I'm just gonna basically show you guys a quick, easy way how I fizz a bass before I turn them loose. Let's take a look. All right, guys, so as you can see, we got this guy right here. He came out of some deep water and he's floating. He has an air bladder full of air. He's upside down. You really don't wanna let a fish go in this condition. They have a hard time getting back down to the bottom and eventually they die. So get yourself a fizz needle like this one right here and let's go ahead and show you guys how to, how, to, how to get it done. So, once you capture the fish, <laughs> all right, so we, now we got this fish here. We got our fizz needle. You wanna get the cap off. Obviously it has a very pointy end on one end, open on the other so the air can release. The way I like to do this is, I simply take this needle, and I wanna show you the mouth of this bass, I'm gonna stick that needle right in between the two crushers, which are right back here, here and here, okay? And I'm basically gonna put it like in its gullet. So right here in between these two crushers is where I wanna insert this needle. And you don't wanna shove this thing or gouge it deeply in there. And when I do this, I'm gonna submerge the bass back in the water and watch the bubbles come out. So there's is fish back in the water and we're gonna watch these bubbles come out and I'm gonna softly massage, I'm gonna softly massage that fish's side and you see those bubbles coming out. Once those bubbles stop, like that, I'm gonna pull the needle out, we're done. Now, watch this, I'm gonna put this fish back in the live well, it is now gonna sink down toward the bottom because it's not full of air. Now that's a bass that's gonna swim back down to the bottom, go ahead and heal up and be ready for you guys to catch them on the next time you're out. So just a quick tip, again, to protect our resources, go ahead and invest, very cheap investment, get yourself a fizz needle, save a bass, help somebody else catch that trophy. Catch y'all on the next one.